Hello, and welcome back to The Last Spell. Um, we're heading into uh, a pretty severe uh, onslaught here. And apparently it's called Sword of Demaclus, or at least that is that is another correct pronunciation. So thanks for that, I suppose. Uh, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm not sure how we want to handle this. There's a lot of, like, routes through here. I kind of want to just, like, stay back and sort of gauge things as they come. So let's do that. I love the smell of mist in the evening. Oh god, what are these? Runners. Clawers. These are normal clawers and then dodgers. They've got a kind of a weird if oh god oh no they did throw look at this mess over here oh jeez uh yeah i was kind of worried uh it would things would develop in this kind of way um hmm all right well let's let's get our ranged hero over here i think that he's gonna uh, or she's gonna have to do some stuff over there for sure let's um could do something over here uh i i'm already not happy about this maybe we should have them shoot first and ask questions later uh we could have her move like over here ah i don't i don't i don't like this i don't like it it's bad it's not good Oh god. No, thank you. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let's have her undo that again. What are where are we at with this tight valley? We could do it like here. Yeah, that's about as good as we can hope for. Pop pop. Didn't kill those two guys, so that's kind of a problem. Uh, might be that we want to set up some kills for uh, our mage. Oof, that was a free kill. Um, we have two more action points. What do we want to do here? Quick reload? We could do a quick reload, actually. How, we can do this we'll limit one once per turn. And then use this... Three, we can use it three times per night. Um, let's not waste that just yet. Let's just hit this guy. Missed. Okay. Uh, hit this guy then. Okay, I want to set up some kills for the mage, and then I'm going to have her run trot over. Um, let's see now. What to... Okay, we could get a couple kills here. Kind of want to set up a, a nice set of kills for, um... Magic missiles. If I move there, am I in range? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. So we'll do one, two, three, four. Pop, 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 pop. Nice. Um, we definitely need someone over here. So I'm going to come over here and then we'll do a bash and hopefully that'll kill this guy. No, missed. Missed again. Oh my god. Three attacks to, to get this one going. Let's give her a transfer so that she can um, get over further. Uh, she's not going to be able to make use of the rest of her action points, unfortunately. But that's fine. We'll run over here. We'll use an evasion because they often surprise me with more enemies. Um, so the only one left who need, can do some stuff is uh, is our mage. Really not a huge fan of um, a lot of the stuff going on here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess we could do a brace. That's really the best we can hope for right now. And I'll end the turn. Yeah, that's a lot of enemies. That is a lot of enemies. Okay, um, might be a time to pull out some of the big guns. I, if I can, um, these guys are, they've got effectively 156 health. And I don't do that much damage. So I might want to pop a couple of power shots to kill these two guys up front. So let's move up close. Do a power shot. Yep. Power shot. Yep. Perfect. And then um, we're going to move her forward. 
she has enough action points to do like two tight volleys or two um rain of arrows if we could do two very effective rain of arrows and this is a good one here uh then it might be worth setting uh like do, either doing another tight volley or uh doing another rain of arrows is there another um like ideal rain of arrows doesn't look like it well, this one's actually pretty good i like this one so let's do let's do that nice um so now we could either do another rain of arrows using up our quick reload or we could do a tight volley like here problem is is this this is only going to do 93 to 132 damage oh that'll mm, no yeah th there's no way that'll take out that claw there so we're we're kind of stuck with that so i think i actually think it would be worth uh, reloading so let's do that and we'll do another rain of arrows and let's see if we can't set up something good here that's not bad um hmm. yeah i mean that's not terrible i i think that we could do better though i think this is the best we can hope for is is uh we'll, we'll effectively hurt or kill five of them so let's do that nice um yeah well, she is in very much in range of of taking some damage we could potentially help her out with our mage and then just kind of leave jess over here <laughs> um brutal why don't we move our lad over he's gonna be in the line of fire but you know that was always true and um first of all we're gonna bash this guy Oh, that didn't kill him. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's... Oh, and he's... Ah, 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 making mistakes. Making all kinds of horrible mistakes. Can we transfer him? We could. No, we can't. We can't. He, he's... They, they, well, I mean, they effectively made it so that you can't. But we. I guess we could use... Okay, we could punch. All right, never mind. We can punch that guy. And we did just... Uh, I got an achievement for doing that, so that's, that's fun um let's throw it um some magic missiles nice lucky hits um we can kill this guy at the very least help help jess over there a little bit now jess jess is in a little bit of trouble she should be okay but you know it's I i'm worried i'm worried for her her well-being so let's throw this out. Hopefully we'll stun. We did stun those three units. That was actually... Uh, couldn't have been much more ideal, honestly. Um, how much does... Yeah, cr crush costs two. Oh, sorry, it costs one, but we have two of them. So actually... Um, I'm wondering if we... I was thinking about like having her move all the way over there, but I don't know if we want to be that aggressive. Instead, let's just go ahead and kill a couple of dudes there. And um, maybe we'll have her move back over just to just to hedge our bets a little bit, and then we'll increase her evasion. Not the best turn, but could be worse. Um, Alyssa is going to be taking some damage. Oh, actually no. I guess um, the thing is, is the the thing about that red aggression, uh, like this this just shows us the uh, potential for where the enemies can go. It doesn't guarantee that that's where they're going to go, right? So let's go ahead and bash this guy into submission. Oh, that didn't kill him. I really thought that it was going to. We'll have to use another uh, hit to, to, to kill him. Um, this is a great, I think this is a pretty, uh, pretty good place for a, a stomp because it's going to hopefully stun a bunch of them. It didn't stun that lad, unfortunately. So what we'll do is we'll move over and we'll throw the last bash on that. She's probably going to be taking some damage on the next turn. Hard to imagine that she doesn't. Um, we could help her. Uh, you know, that's that's always an option. Helping is good. Uh, I think that we need to move our friend Rigoberto back a bit. Because he is... Uh, he's like... 
not he's kind of struggling because of the, the the range he has to have like at least one be one away two away i guess his range is is pretty specific um this is not terrible we could have him do some damage and then probably just clean up with some uh sort of damaclus <laughs> some damaclus uh let's throw out a couple of those actually you know what let's just use some yeah let's just use some sort of damaclus let's see uh okay that was a good kill too easy nice all right now um G jess alicia alicia is in a little bit of a spot a little bit of a, a of a danger zone there's a lot of these dudes over here um could be a problem i think that tight volley is going to be better off she's going to be we're, we're going to be better off with tight volley than uh you know like i'd like to take out these three guys um sure yeah i figured it was probably going to miss the runers they have a very good dodge chance let's uh, see if we can't take them out with some power shots nice and throw out one more for that guy and we have one more um point left we can throw at this guy and she's well out of the range of uh aggression she could actually stand and move forward a little bit um and yeah that's uh that's not bad again jesse uh, Jess is probably gonna take some damage but she's got lots of health and I think I gave her the evasion. I don't think I did actually. Well, that's fine. Okay, they're getting kind of close over there. Um, I might need to shift Rigoberto over a bit because um, they're getting a little bit too close to that side of the uh, the wall. Let's move him over to assist Jess. Jess. Um, just can do some uh, a nice good stomp here and whatever she doesn't kill um will get stunned so that's nice oh, man that the misses on these guys suck uh i think she could actually throw a crush out over there she could probably yeah she can reach him she and she did kill him nice now uh rigoberto unfortunately hmm not ideal not not really ideal uh, i think i'd like to un if i could undo his move i think i would it was not not a great idea moving him over because he's not really in range to kill anything uh so let's just use some swords to take out these guys if i could redo things a little bit i would um now let's see what can we do i definitely foresee a good rain of arrows over here there's a couple of good ones not a lot n no like complete ones um this is about as close as we get so let's use it that's not bad i see one more good one so i'm actually gonna re quick reload so I use another one i probably should like use up another skill before i do that but i don't know if that actually works that way so we have two more um action points for for her so let's go ahead and kill this guy and um i don't i think this this guy's movement is not as good yeah this this guy has more freedom of movement so i think it'd be better i'd be better off killing that dude the, the flying dude so let's Let's use a power shot on him. Oof, that did not kill him. He's got a little, he's kind of tanky. He's got 210. Oh yeah, and he's got stun resistance. So there, there is that. So I think, yeah, moving there, I, we should be covered. We can see how far they're going to make it. Um, Rigoberto still has a ton of skill points left. Well, we'll have him reinforce. I, it's not going to do anything, but you know at the very least we make use of those points okay uh rigoberto 
have you move forward and then maybe we can actually set some stuff up for you so let's go ahead and do some damage to him um sure we'll just throw out some some basic damage and yeah we have enough we have some kills we can set up actually i honestly think another magic missiles would be a not a terrible idea or kills is is fine um I'm not a huge fan of this guy over there. We could try and clean that up later. So let's have, let's have uh, Jesse kill this one dude. Actually, let's, uh, I, I've been like forgetting this a lot, but let's cheer her first. Then we'll bash this guy. And that, I mean, I don't think it made a difference because it doesn't increase your chance to hit as far as I know. All right, cool, cool, cool. This is actually working out well. And then we have a very good stomp over here. Didn't kill, but um, close enough. And I'll, I'll kill this guy over here just to open that up for us a little bit. And that worked out well. Um, we haven't done Alicia's turn though. Um, oh, that's not a bad... There's a pretty good uh, rain of arrows there. That's not bad there. Um, let's do like maybe let's do a tight volley here. I like that better. I think. Oof. Okay, you know what? Let's um let's recharge that. That's the the last of our reloads. I just want to kill those guys. And then I'm going to move over a little bit. I should be able to move her back. Yeah, we can move her back. And then I, I, there's like a really good rain of arrows over here. That That is it there. And that is all of her skill points used up. So we'll move her back. Hopefully that is just out of range. I want to keep her options as open as possible. Um, they're actually going to get pretty close but they're just going to be attacking some wreckage, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I didn't realize that someone was going to get up to, to Jesse there. That's fine. Um, got a really good tight volley over there, but I need, I'm going to have to move her in order to get it. We'll, we'll use it, but... Oh, that was dumb. Let's uh, undo that movement. Let's just like move her here and then use a power shot to kill this lad and then move her over there and then tight volley these guys. And that, yeah, I figured that would leave one left over and we can just spend, um, well, let's spend another power shot just to kill that guy. And then we'll spend some, uh, basic action points to kill these guys. I didn't re I didn't expect to get the kill there. So that was actually even better than I expected. Um, now I would love to kill these three lads over here. So let's do that, but let's move um, him back one, Rigoberto, and then we'll have we'll set up a nice. Um, I mean, it could have been better, but honestly, it could have been worse too. And we are actually in a good position. Whoops, to kill those three lads and then do some damage to this one other lad over here. He's still got one action point left. Um, not sure where to throw that. Unfortunately, Rigoberto is not going to be able to use his bash this turn. We might see our first damage dealt to our uh, barrier. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just throw out a sword on, on this guy. Yeah, didn't didn't kill him. That's fine. We'll throw out a cheer. Cheer is free. Almost, uh, well, I guess it, having it be automatic wouldn't make much sense. Let's go ahead and do a crush and a bash. And then run over here and do another bash. And, um, should be able to take out these guys as well with a stomp. At the very least, it'll, uh, stun that guy, so now he can't move. So I'll have to spend one more turn, uh, killing him. And, uh, whoops, as, as, uh, I expected that armor does, I just saw it recharge. So you do, like, if you get break through their armor you do want to take uh just an extra moment to kill them if you can prioritize it i assume that's that's going to come up later when um we we come into um 
like contact with monsters with a lot of armor but maybe not as much health because like if you have to spend a whole turn to break through their armor but you don't actually kill them then that's an entire extra turn where you're gonna have to like dedicate resources to killing them so we got some more stuff i'm gonna probably start skipping those animations pretty soon we've got quite a lot of things lucky hits you get all kinds of nice rewards for things that you did and or didn't do so uh things oh are oh man <laughs> things are getting pretty nasty okay so first of all let's spend our meta points welcome to the or oraculum oraculum i i'm gonna say it differently every time that's beyond belief oh believing sure helps a lot a free piece of advice don't go rambling about it all with your fellow humans uh i have seen other echoes of yourself trying and it never ends well will you sell your tainted essence to me yeah sure so we could spend 1600 to increase our health and mana heroes have plus three daily health regen and plus one daily mana regen uh new structure can be built in your town generate some materials every production phase Generate some gold every production phase. This seems very good. Gold mine, huh? Yeah. Heck, heck yeah, bud. We have 500 left. I don't think we can... Well, we can buy damage. Oh, aha. wow. How did I not see the uh, extra damage? And we can do... We have extra armor as well. So that's something we're probably going to want to look at. Pistols now. Scepters. Nice. Do we have anything new on this side? Yeah, survive for uh, night four in Gildenberg. So that's nice. We got some, some new stuff, maybe. Receive my blessings. I don't know what blessings I received. Did I... What did I receive? Ah. Uh, achieved. New structure can now be built in your haven, the inn. Is that what we're looking at? Grants the ability to recruit additional heroes or replace the fallen ones during production phase. The roster of available heroes is renewed every morning. Oh man. That's kind of uh that's kind of a scary ability. Being in charge of uh like how many heroes I have is is very scary. <laughs> um so we only leveled up two heroes last night. Um Alyssa with extra mana might be a good idea. How much mana does she have? Yeah, she almost used up all of her mana last night. So let's let's give her some extra oh extra accuracy might be really nice actually. Um That's really tempting. Um nah does she have perks to do with that? Yeah, critical runes. So not only would this give her more uh, opportunities to throw out her, her powerful attacks, but also having more mana means she'll have more missing mana, and that means she's gonna be doing more damage, hopefully. Let's go ahead and give her poison damage since since they're offering it to me like this Let's see if maybe we can do some extra poison damage if that's a if that's a thing that she can do now I'll have to see um, Whenever the hero has three or less current move points and attacks in melee range uh, Very specific, but I can see that being useful definitely for Jess not for uh, not so much for Alyssa um, every seven mana spent restores one action point. Ooh. Uh, that's interesting. <clears throat> the problem with that is that I, I don't think I can spend seven mana in one turn unless I actually use my, uh, refresh. <clears throat> so, like, it's kind of a problem. I don't know. I don't think that that would, like, I, 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 I foresee that, um, it would pay off between rounds, but I'm not sure if I would want to take that for like, hmm, I don't know. It's an interesting one. I guess it would mean like maybe one extra attack every turn, maybe? Skills now cost health instead of mana. All of the hero's mana is transformed into resistance and daily mana regen into daily health regen. <clears throat> she would get like plus 16% resistance and plus six daily health regen. Um, 
This is an interesting choice, but I don't know. I, I think I'd rather take it for like Jess. Uh, even then, I don't know. Plus one trinket equipment slot. I haven't taken any trinkets yet, so I don't know if that's very good. And then extra mana per item level. I kind of like just giving her this mana growth because then we get even more criticals. Plus three propagation bounces. Chains a portion of dam damage as well as potential negative alterations applied by the skill to a random adjacent unit. <clears throat> so... Plus three propagation bounces. Every three and eight enemies killed by propagation means one less bounce and plus three propagation damage. Uh, interesting. Chains a portion of damage as well as potential negative alterations applied by the skill to a random adjacent unit. I don't know. I don't know if this works for this hero. I really don't know. Um, it's something I'd have to, like, try and look up, maybe. Armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. Um, I think I just want to give them this mana growth. I, 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 there's lots of interesting skills here, but I don't think any of them are as good as just giving her, like, a ton of extra mana. And she does actually get the mana, so it is like a, just a free chunk of mana. So let's look at Rigoberto. Extra dodge is tempting. Extra health is... Eh, eh. Extra mana is definitely tempting. But he doesn't benefit from that as much as others. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, he does. He actually directly does. Um... Hmm... Well... Oh, I'm sorry, not... He, he doesn't benefit from the health as much as from the mana. Uh, what else do we got? Relentless. Energize. Every seven mana spent, restore plus one action point. Could be good for him. As long as the hero didn't kill anything this turn, plus two multi-hits. What does that mean? As long as the hero didn't kill anything this turn, plus two multi-hits. That's an interesting way of putting that. That could be very good. If it's what I think it is, blood magic could be good for him as well, actually. Let's um, let's give this a go. I'm interested in this because what this could mean is that when I use my um, magic missiles, the first time I use the magic missiles, uh, as long as I haven't killed anything, then I'll, I'll get to select more units. And that could mean that we get to do some more damage in the, in the first part. Um, we could try and uh, get some of that damage back. I honestly feel like just take, giving him more mana would be uh, not a bad idea. Because the thing is, is he, he benefits from that in two different ways. Um, extra poison damage is interesting. Reliability could be very good. Daily mana regen would also be not terrible. Let's just let's just give him extra mana magic damage. There's no like obvious choice there, but you know that's fine. Um Okay. So we have ten workers to work with here. That is a lot of workers. Um We could definitely stand to upgrade some stuff. So like if we gave Jesse I keep calling her Jesse. If I gave Jess more health, then she would benefit from that from a damage standpoint. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to move her. I do that a lot, actually. Um, so upgrading this to give her even more max health would be kind of really good. Um, we don't really need to... like we could, She could probably just take a normal offering. I don't think we need to like spend any resources to improve that. But... Yeah, let's spend 80 and then we'll improve her max health by a lot. That's going to improve her damage by just like a large amount. Um, and then mana, mana is a whole other thing. Max mana is from plus 6 to plus 10. That's really nice. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think that we should give that to Rigoberto because he's the one I just gave him that perk, right? Uh... Yeah, magic fuel per, for current mana. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just give him extra mana. 
and we'll um restore all mana and also give rigoberto some extra mana although um uh, kind of tempting she's got 57 right now he's got 58 i think that actually uh Alyssa could she'll get the full use out of that mana and she has more mana and she's also spending more mana so now we're down to 50 gold that was quite a lot of gold spent um we can't get any more workers which is fine we can spend some more workers to get some gold and stuff like this is this is uh nice let's go ahead and do that we got a nice chunk of, of money um we don't have any more big piles to spend um workers on so and we only have two workers left i'm not sure if there's anything else any other obvious thing to, to to throw workers at? No, we well, there is this. Restores 40 health uh, to all units, but we already did. Like we, we don't need to do that. Everyone's at full health. So let's just try and get some more money. I don't think that there's any obvious way of doing that. Um, can we buy some things? Gold mine, right? We want, we'd like to buy a gold mine. Or an in grants the ability to recruit additional heroes. Um, I think I probably really want that, huh? Let's uh, build one. Definitely, there's probably really obvious ways of building the town up. So, how does one do this? Grants the ability. Do is this a a new thing I have to do? Recruit some heroes. How much does... I'm, I'm worried about how much it costs. Yeah, it costs a lot. So, actually, I probably should have done the uh, the mine first. Bit of an oversight, honestly. I wonder... If I could undo that, I definitely would. I have no money left. Um, so... And I don't think that there's anything else I can throw <clears throat> the workers at. So, I think that... Um, I think we're just gonna like dig up a couple of these piles for some extra gold. There we go. Now, um, that's our workers spent. We have no more money. Not, we don't have enough money to buy anything meaningful. We can take an item. Let's, uh, is this, is this anything? We have a rare, oh, this is an offhand weapon. Ooh, a wooden shortbow plus one. This is an uncommon shortbow plus one. Could actually be better. I think it is better. Plus 6% damage. It is better. Uh, well, hold on. That's so weird. It says base damage 79 to 118. So its base damage is actually less than our shortbow plus one, but... Because of the six plus six percent damage, it ends up being more. It's such a minor amount. Uh, I actually feel like this worn light armor might be better. Um, let's compare. Okay, so yeah, Alyssa can't wear armor. Jess could definitely benefit from this. Um, Rigoberto, what are you using? He's got critical power, but I this might be better for him. No, it's the same amount of armor. But I definitely think that it might be worth it for Jess. Ah, uh, but the, her current armor is giving her extra movement points, which she could really stand to have. <laughs> like, it's just like, I don't know, uh, much, much better for her. Um, It's kind of dumb, but I feel like maybe give, just taking the offhand weapon isn't terrible. Plus 3% propagation damage is an interesting idea. It's dumb. I, I know it's dumb, but I'm going to take the, the hammer. Because it's the only one that's like... Like, he doesn't even use the melee damage all that much. But, like, just damn. There's not a lot, in you know, on offer there. I haven't really made much use of these, like, separate weapon slots. Because I know you can, like, set them up to have uh, multiple things going on. I don't think I can buy any new gear, right? Oh, I can, actually. We could buy this leather cape. Extra range damage, reliability, ground smash scroll plus two. It's kind of interesting. Consumable. Oh, there's a rusty shield plus three. That's expensive, but you know. 
Uh, ooh, this, um, this is actually really nice. We'd have less critical power, but more daily re mana regen. Uh, honestly, I feel like there's not enough here to really justify. I, I just found, I just realized we could probably sell stuff. How do, how do we sell stuff? Ah, uh, just like double click it. Yeah. And I, I like that we can, we have the option of, uh, rebuying those back okay so we're pretty much good to go um not excited about what's going on over here um i think what we'll do is i've been putting this archer like very perpendicular or not perpendicular but up against the enemy i think what i'll do is instead i'll have her at like the corner here so she has the option of shooting this way or shooting that way because her her um her attacks are very much directional based. Um, so I think that that'll be better. Uh, oh yeah, the omens. So they're giving us all, a lot more stuff now. Okay, let's, you know, pray. This game is so good. I, I'm honestly enjoying this even more than I expected. Um, so I think I messed up just kind of immediately. Because I don't know if she has, if, if Alyssa can make it all the way over there. They, they came in a lot more east than I expected. Yeah, she can't make it. So that means they're going to make it all the way up to the wall. I kind of dedicated a lot more attention to this side because this was the quote unquote like hard side. Um, so uh, things uh, things might get a little bit spicy, but that's okay. We're, you know, we're, we, we can take it, I think. Let's do just like set up some stuff. Actually, I should have done a cheer first. She probably would have got that second kill. We'll do a stomp. Um, she's got two action points left. Oh, the the the, the music's getting cool. I like when it gets cool, you know. I'm going to get her, like, she's going to be very much, like, right up in the grill of all of this. I'll move her back a little bit. Um, now, let's see. Oh, yeah, multi-hit six now. See that? That's really cool. So he can use magic missiles on six different enemies now. Pop, pop, pop. Well, he got a kill, so now he magic missile is not going to do six anymore. Um, it'll only do four, but still that's like that's so nice Pop 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 pop. Yeah, a Rigoberto is really he might even turn into a hard carry at this rate Um, You know what can we maybe oh we don't have enough to I was thinking maybe we could give a transfer to Alicia Even doing a little bit of damage over here would be really really nice but um, yeah, no, no such luck. Okay, well, uh, this sucks. At least Alicia has like the perfect amount of mana. Oh no, we have archers. Oh no. Arch enemy archers, I should say. Oh God. Okay, we, we need to focus on them for sure. Okay. Uh not not really it. Oh man, these these the uh I like the rain of arrows a lot, but it definitely is very limited on purpose, you know. Let's do a power shot on that guy. I might just like um I don't think the rain of arrows is actually going to be very helpful right now. I think it's better off just like trying to cull some of the stuff in the front. Unfortunately, these guys over here are, are going to uh, walk freely. Okay, now over here. Um, first of all, I think it would be a good idea to use our magic missiles first. And maybe try and I, I feel like hitting the things with armor and and health would be a good idea because then we can uh we have a better chance of doing six hits per magic missile again oh like yeah like that that was 
perfect. Get everyone down to low health. Um, I actually, instead of doing the magic missile right away, what I'd like to do is get, um, get Jess in there and finish off a couple of these with a with a, a nice well placed stomp and then we'll use a crush nice she's got uh enough for one more bash oh good it didn't it didn't miss that was i was a little bit worried that it was gonna miss now we're free to like you know it doesn't matter if we kill with the second one because we only get to do this twice anyway um so and we'll leave those two stunned ones um Let's, uh, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, move him over twice. Should be able to reach everything there now. Yeah. And we can do, um, we can dedicate. Well, let's see if we can't kill that guy. There we go. Perfect. We could even, um, spend a bash, but I, again, I'd rather have that guy to block some of the movement. Um, now we, we, I think we're done. I think we are done. Oof. Ouch. Shoot. Okay, uh. To tight volley, tight volley. Um. Oh, this is the, the the rain of arrows is like really circumstantial it's like you need a pile of enemies to really make the most out of it sometimes you get lucky but most of the time it's not gonna work out for you so i'm actually gonna quick reload so i can do another tight volley here because that's like the best spot and I really want to take out that guy and this guy. But I don't think that's... Yeah. Oh, we didn't even break through to his armor. So we, that was just a complete waste. We should have used that on one of these guys. Okay. Um, let's... Uh, we'll set up some magic missiles here. Let's take a step back. Again, we're looking at... We're looking for everyone with like a high amount of health and armor. So that, oh, no, we got a kill. We're, we're trying to um, decrease the chance of getting killed. And then we, we set up kills for, uh, for Jesse. This isn't bad, actually. This is a pretty good uh, stomp. We actually stun quite a lot of them. And in fact, this, doing a stun there isn't terrible. Um, and just leaving them. Uh, she's out of movement. So we'll just, uh, give her an evasion. And then we can, uh, maybe we can do some cleanup over here. We're unstoppable. No, I, I, I guarantee you we are going to be stopped. Potentially. Oh, God. Alyssa. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage she just took. Um, hmm. I, it's like I, I could move people back to dedicate more, you know, more power over here, but it's not like there isn't a bunch of stuff over there to fight. Well, you know what? Let's try and um, kill some of these archers. All right, that one, two power shots to kill one archer isn't terrible. Maybe I can't, um, like, I, I can't rely on the idea of like killing a bunch of units. I definitely need to back her up a little bit. I actually, I feel like, let's use a quick reload. And I'm going to dedicate another two power shots to trying and kill this guy. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it won't let you... 
I thought that it would yeah I don't know why I thought it would give me two uses back but we we still managed to kill that other archer those archers are really nasty she's probably still in like great danger but we're just gonna have to be okay with that for now um so let's go ahead and uh well first of all let's go ahead and use a, a magic missile um again looking for those with high health and i assume that if there's more bars then that tells us that they they have more health i think that actually taking a step to the a couple steps to the left would be a bit better for him no actually one step to the left would be fine because then we can reach this guy uh this guy that guy that guy and that guy perfect uh we still killed one you know like getting kills is honestly not bad it, it's a good thing that we get kills but i want to be able to clean up with jess and um i just think that overall we're, we're it's we're better off like setting up kills with um rigoberto than like getting kills it's just like we want to make the most out of all of our tools you know so i'm gonna oh, i'm actually gonna do is like do this kill is the most important and then i'm gonna dedicate two to this guy over here just to make sure we kill him because that that stray guy over there is going to be a problem for us and then over what we oh do we not have a, okay let's give um give a transfer to uh jess and make sure we also cheer her because i want her to get into this crevice here that's a really good crevice and then we're gonna stomp clean up a bunch of dudes here pop amazing boy these are squishy <laughs> um so she's completely out of movement so we're gonna use a point to uh get some evasion and then we can we can do like one more kill nice um meanwhile our lad here he's kind of i won't lie he's not in a great way i'll move him back a bit Alyssa is in real deep trouble um really really not sure what we're gonna do and there's two more rangers making their way oh and we have rangers over here now as well yeah those rangers are a real problem kind of i've <laughs> This is dumb. I, I think what I'd like to do is have her move over here, do a little bit of cleanup over here, but also it get, puts her in a position to, to do some more tight volleys over here. So let's um, do a tight volley there and then set up, hopefully, well, she doesn't have any more movement. So actually that's going to be kind of a waste. I was hoping to, to kill a couple of those archers. That's a pretty good rain of arrows right there. I'm, I'm gonna take that advantage that, that opportunity Definitely gonna kill that um, That archer while I have the opportunity And I, I just need to like kill a couple of these dudes Over here. Um, I guess we want to do a power shot oh, That was not what we want. We definitely wanted to kill that guy in one shot that is a bummer okay um jess is in a great position here but let's do roberto first rigoberto the archers are gonna pr give him uh they're they're a target that we know he can't kill with one shot in fact i don't even think two shots would do it we're gonna have him move up right next to uh jess so let's um hit some of these beefier dudes um yeah oh out of range right okay that's the problem with moving right up okay that's a good one that's not a bad one okay hopefully no kills good um so we could actually potentially kill a couple of these archers 
because we can go one two one two um this guy ah he's exactly what i was talking about he's got a lot of armor but not a lot of health so one two okay so dedicating two shots for each of them is actually not a bad idea at all pop okay that stunned a lot of them we that's good for us because we need to get over here and we could do another stun the important part is that we kill this guy there we go okay that's kind of everything um we have one more action point so I, it would be a good idea to try and kill one of these guys that are hitting our defenses oh i didn't oh my god i did not cheer uh jess we might have been able to make a bit more use of our action points that's a dang shame I think it's the last batch of them. Ooh. Rigoberto is not really meant to be taking kind of that kind of damage. Okay, where is Jess? She's really in the fray right there. Um Okay, I think at this point what I'd like to do is just I know we're trying not to get kills with Rigoberto, but we we just need to do some cleanup. Okay, one miss is that's that's honestly not a big deal. And then uh, I'll have a move back, and then we're gonna do a bit more cleanup. Nice. Uh, and then Jess, Jess is going to do a bunch of cleanup here. Not a, oh, I didn't cheer her again, man. I'm really bad at that. I'm gonna forget that a lot, aren't I? At least, um, you know, hitting them, not killing them is like not the end of the world because you still get something for doing it. Like if you stun them, it's almost better than killing them because it's going to be blocking other dudes. Now, the situation over here has not exactly improved, although we did get rid of quite a few archers. That's that's the important thing. Um, not bad. That's not a bad rain of arrows. I think we can do better though. Four is the best we can do is four. Well, we may as well try and hit the archer then. And then we'll power shot the archer. Very good. We got that kill. This knight is curing my, what is that? <laughs> curing my what? Um, so we have three points left so we have enough for a uh tight volley let's kill that guy oh there's a dude like right in front of us the important thing though is i want to i want to do a tight volley over here nice uh kind of a bad idea but i'm gonna move him in there because at the very least he'll only take two attacks i know that's a weird thing to say but like you know what i mean maybe we can give some uh, a transfer to jess which would be a great idea apparently giving a transfer also gives it gives the uh rigoberto extra damage i should probably do that right away Okay, that's uh, not a bad use. So we, we managed to move her back and then she's now out of the line of danger. So it took a little bit of damage. I was hoping that we could avoid that, but... Okay, one of our defenses is actually down. I'm hoping that, um, like, these get recovered fully between knights. Let's throw two points out for that guy. Um, okay, we we need to move we need to move Rigoberto out of there. That's not an ideal spot for him. I don't mind if he gets a kill so long as that kill is um, a ranger. 
Probably I did this wrong because honestly, uh, if Rigoberto could have done some damage over here, we should have. And we know that he's not going to be like, we can't do anything with Jess over here. She's going to be wasting turns trying to get over there. So uh, not ideal. Actually, Jess can do some stuff. Amazingly, she can reach them. So that's nice. Got get a couple of kills at the very least. Um Okay, let's uh let's see what we can do here. Obviously not a great position for a tight volley. Um mm. And that range is kind of a problem too. Let's um honestly let's do a bit of cleanup. Let's undo that. That's that was not ideal. I want to kill that guy. That, oh, wow. Kill this dude. And I'd like to kill these two dudes over here. So actually, we're... I, I know I should be killing the guys hitting our defenses. But um, I just... I need to do a bit of cleanup. Okay, so it might be that one of our defenses gets hit again or, or destroyed. No, we're actually good amazingly okay let's uh let's just like try and kill all these lads i'll hit the ones near the like near her because then jess can um come in and clean up with the crush um excuse me there we go and actually she can move forward and kill this guy too and actually she can move over and kill this guy too nice okay that was rough that wasn't so bad. That was pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, at least they didn't break through our defenses. You know, there, there is that. Alive three. And no one died. So, you know what? Honestly, that is pretty good. Oh, apparently panic was created. Them hitting the defenses is not good. Okay. B. It was tough, but we made it. Okay, so we don't like them hitting our defenses. Oh my god. That is not good. This should be of use to you. So, we do have to dedicate points to repairing. Uh, I wish it didn't ask me to confirm. That's kind of annoying. Is there a way to do this automatically can we just like um okay repair repairs the targeted building repairs all the buildings identical to the targeted one instantly repairs all defenses okay perfect i i, I appreciate that there's a button for that um so let's just like get that out of the way did anyone level up only jess just needs more health but honestly armor could be good too apparently health is restored every turn uh yeah that's that's amazing let's give her armor uh extra experience gained i don't know i don't know about that one uh maybe at 100 percent, the attack will always deal its maximum damage I don't know. I guess I guess extra experience gain. That seems like kind of a waste to me. Thrifty. Every eight actions point points spent, the next mana consuming skill gets mana cost divided by half. Eh. Whenever the hero has three or less current move points and attacks in melee range, restore one move points. Kind of nice because she could basically attack, move, attack, move, attack, move. That's actually really nice for her, and she could definitely stand to have more, uh, more, uh, attack. I think that Jess would be a good, um, choice for maybe blood magic as well. Lone Wolf, as long as there is no other hero within a range of five. Uh, interesting, but I don't think I, I, I that's a bit too, like, galaxy brain for me, because I'm going to have to, like keep track of that a lot and I, I just don't like the idea of it i think we have two more combats to go before this spell is cast i'm assuming it's not going to go well because it 
if it goes well, then, um, you know, then the game is over. <laughs> Medium armor plus three. Healing received is increased. We don't think, I don't think we have a healer yet, do we? I don't think we do. Uh, rusty sword plus two. Um, let's see. Okay, we are looking at Jess, so damage is lower by a lot so why would i do this one hand melee weapon rare um dash so this is a 162 to 199 that's actually really nice only costs one how many times can we use it three times per turn but that's instead of uh crush and Crush does 136 to 160 to two enemies, in theory. And it's got range. Not that Dash doesn't have range. It does have range, but uh, what's the last one? Uh, Blade Rush. So that does an, a, a damage to three enemies. Um, it's in a maneuver. It hits three. Does 162 one. I, I don't think this is worth it. Steel Helm, block, move points, momentum, range damage, resistance. Seems like a good choice. Um, I think that Alicia could do with a... Oh, uh, no, she's the only one who has a helmet. Mm. This Steel Helm is actually better for her in some ways. Extra range damage and extra resistance, extra move points, extra momentum. I think I think that's not a bad choice. The other option is this medium armor, but I don't know who can take that. Definitely not Alyssa. She can't wear armor. Um, extra armor for Jess would be nice. But then it gives her less move points. Not a terrible thing because um, she has that new move where it doesn't matter as much. However, um, it looks... Uh, Rigoberto, what do you got? He's got really good armor for himself. He doesn't really take a lot of damage, so it's not a big deal. So I think that this would be a good idea for for Jess. Wait, what? Does has Jess not been using armor this whole time? She I mean she's got like pretty pretty worthless armor. Well that's kinda wild to me. Okay. So now, um, well, first of all, we're going to have to dedicate a few hero, um, workers to uh, improving our sitch a little bit. Let's uh, first of all cover our bases, give some extra health to, um, to Jess. She doesn't seem to have that much health. I guess she doesn't have that much health. That's weird. She has 356 full Oh, that's weird. Why does it show? Usually when there's more bars like that, it means that they have more health. But Jess has um, far more health than uh, Alyssa. So I'm not sure. And oh, I guess maybe it's a visual bug because it looks it shows a lot of bars in this hot right corner. I don't know. It's it. That's a weird one. Um, okay. Restores 40 health to all heroes. This is going to be good. We might actually want to spend some money to make it better. So it'll be 60 health to all heroes. That's pretty pretty good. And in fact, we can use our last um, offering to make the small last bit of difference to Alyssa. Cool. All right, that's health taken care of. Um, this uh, mana business is like as good as it needs to be. Um, let's just do restore mana right away. And I know Rigoberto benefits from having more mana. I'm pretty sure that does give him more mana. I'm not sure if it just gives him more max mana. Some, some games, like every game does it a little bit different. Like, does it give you extra max mana, but not the mana itself? You know, what's, what's the deal? Um, we could spend some money to upgrade some buildings, but I actually think that we're good. Uh, like we have 10 workers. I don't think we need more workers right now. What we really need is more money. Ah, which brings us to the obvious choice. Let's, um, build a gold mine. 
I could honestly, I, I wouldn't be a terrible idea. This, this, can we rotate this? How do we? Hold on a second. Is there a way to rotate? Hmm. Not sure. I'm not sure how we how we can rotate if if at all. It might be that we can't rotate. That would have been a really good place for it, like right there. I think that probably we can't. Seems like a design choice. Let's build a mine. We can upgrade it too. Plus one uses per production. Instantly generates 25 gold. Um, passive production upgrades mine. So instead of 25 gold, we get 40 gold. That almost pays for itself instantly. Uh, we could rip upgrade it so that it requires less workers. That's not a problem for us right now, but I, th I think that that almost pays for itself if we go ahead and uh, upgrade it once. Yeah, we, we pretty much made all of our money back from that, like, immediately. I'm not going to build another mine right now because uh, I definitely think that we should buy another hero if we can. In fact, I already feel like I should have saved a bit more money. No, no mage available. So we've got here, I don't know, you, like, I guess heroes are not um, limited to what they can do. This guy's level four. These guys are all level four, oh, except for this one, they're level two. Stormy is level five. That would have been kind of neat. Um, they seem to have a tome. Magician, more daily mana regen. Well, it doesn't matter because we don't have enough. I guess, is like, could I, is there any way I could make a bit more money? Oh, and I also, sorry, I have to spend my meta points. I don't know if I did that. Yeah, I didn't do that yet. Uh, new structure, scavenger camp. I, yeah, I've been like holding back on that because I don't really want to spend money to get more materials. 1,200 to have heroes have plus 3% damage is, seems pretty good. Heroes have plus 3 mana. Let's do, um... Let's do health and mana regen, and then also uh, plus 10 armor. It's a good use. And we could also, like, I don't know, buy scepters. Why not? Let's get scepters. Seems pretty cool. I don't think that heroes are limited to what kind of weapons they can take. I think they can take pretty much whatever. Rejoice, O Earth and Sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. What did you do? I bestowed upon thy mortal shell a drip of my infinite power. Happy shalt thou be, who has the opportunity to feel another morrow. Tell thy people that hope lingers, inspire them, lead them. Fight for life, hope and dreams, and thou shalt be saved. Receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. Yeah? What kind of, uh, what kind of blessings are we talking about here? Gildenberg. I'm not really seeing anything new. I think that's just them saying hello, basically. Buildings. The next one is use 12 workers to scavenge ruins and corpses over a single production phase. A new omen to diversify your strengths. The first ruin or corpse scavenged each day costs ne uh, negative one hero. Or, uh, sorry, worker. It's actually really cool. Um, I don't think I can get that now. We do have three workers I need to uh, distribute. So, I mean, let's let's do a little bit of this. Um, get some, oh, we, we get some money from that. I could do that. And then we can actually afford that stormy hero. Oh, man, that's ideal. I thought there... Oh, yeah, there is another one. Another, another big pile. In fact, there is one more. So let's do that as well. So now we have enough. We can go back to the inn. We'll buy stormy. She seems cool. So that is... She'll go over there. I like to have... I, I think I'm going to have her and uh, Alyssa over here. And then I'll have uh, Roberto and um, Jess make a pretty good team. Stormy is level four, so we have to level her up four times. Buckle up, because it's going to be a long haul. She's a heavy sleeper. She gains more health and mana. 
but she does less critical. That's fine with me. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of critical. She has not very much health though. So she really can't afford to be taking hits. She does, however, do very good damage. So um, that's going to work out for us. Uh, extra mana or extra move points. Mm, let's give her extra mana. She's a magician, so I'm assuming that's going to be pretty good. Giving her armor seems like a pretty good idea. Let's give her armor. Um, I should probably be giving her perks. Like, at least see the perks that she has before I take her abilities. More mana. So we, she she's going to have a ton of mana. Uh, armor is increased by 110% of the hero's daily health regen. That seems like a good one for her. We'll take that. We'll take the extra mana. Dam damage is increased by 30. Yeah, we'll take that. Extra damage for mana is, is a very easy choice. Whenever an enemy is killed using physical damage... No, that's not good for her. These are, these are physical. These are uh, mana. Every seven mana spent, restore one. Well, that she she's actually a good candidate for this because I noticed that she's got a six mana cost skill. So actually very tempting. As long as the hero didn't kill anything this turn, plus two multi-hit. I don't know if she has any multi-hit. I'll have to look into that first. Extra experience gained is kind of interesting. Opportunism. Uh, opportunism is good against stunned enemies, but I don't. she's with someone who doesn't stun. Attributes reroll. If you don't like the choices offered, you can reroll them, but there will be less options to choose from. You have two rerolls per level up. Let's try this. Oh, I don't like that either. <laughs> now it's isolated. Um, hmm. Let's reroll it again. Let's reroll it again. Okay, that was that was awful. Um, I, I will not be doing that again. Ooh, multi hits plus one. Now I need to check this. What are her skills? Uh, less damage. This is propagation. Change the portion of damage. So she's got a propagation attack. This isn't a multi-hit. And this isn't a multi-hit. And this isn't a multi-hit. So she's got propagation. She doesn't have... Um, multi-hit, unfortunately. So, the multi-hit I don't think is actually very useful to her. Um, tempted on this quick reload, actually. She could very much benefit from that. Because she's got two skills. Yeah, you know what? Let's take Energized. And, oh, that was her last perk. Okay, we'll take, uh, we'll take quick reload on her next level up. But she's only level five. She's level five. Why does she only? Oh, she got four perks, right? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, level up. Multi hits, daily mana regen. Only affect skills with a multi hit effect. Okay, let's give her uh more daily mana regen. She's gonna be using mana like a ton. Yeah, this says only affects skills with a poison effect, which I don't think she has. I wish it was an easy... Oh, yeah, there is an easy way of checking. This does magic damage. Um, yeah. Half the targets of resistance. Negative alteration. Half ignore... Uh, chains up... Yeah, she's just like a DPS. Um, daily mana regen or daily health regen. She... How much health does she have? Not really enough for this to matter, because if she's taking hits, she's going to die. <laughs> Let's instead give her um, more mana regen. I really just think that that's going to be the deal. Propagation damage, yes please. Alright. So that's pretty good. We're good in that regard. We could buy some more gear. What is this? Lucky Turtle Charm. More momentum and more propagation bounces. Yes, please. Excellent. Why not? Um, I am cool with the rest of this. Oh, extra stun chance. Let's look at um, Jess. Was she wearing a helmet? She's not wearing a helmet. But we don't have enough money now, so never mind. <laughs> we need more money. 
Okay, hold on. Let's look at uh, Jess, or sorry, Stormy, and give her... Where does this go? It goes there. So she's going to have more progression, uh, uh, propagation bounces. And extra stun, apparently. So maybe this is not the best charm for her, but whatever. Whatever. Um... So I think similarly to last time, what I'll do is I'm going to call it here um, since I've set things up for the next, you know, I'll do some, build some defenses. Uh, and I guess we want to, we want to upgrade some of these. Why can't I upgrade these walls? That seems weird. How come I can't do that? Are they? Oh, they're already. Okay, yeah. That, sorry, they were already that. Okay, let's just upgrade everything. Nice. Looks good. We still have some materials left, so, I mean, we could. Wooden gate. Oh, interesting. Not sure what the wooden gate does. Just like a wall with the added benefit of letting heroes through. Pretty neat. Hmm. Probably should have built a couple of those. Um. Let's just like kind of bolster our defenses a little bit. Yeah, that works. That kind of limits where we can build inside, but anyway. All right, so I think that's gonna call. That's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm I'm. This game is really, really good. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, it, it strikes a perfect balance of like very satisfying combat. It's got some challenge. It definitely uh, ramps up, but like also so do we a uh, ramp up. So like that's it. Just it's you know a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. If you are, definitely hit that like button, please. Uh, I would do do me a solid. And uh, consider subscribing for more content like this if you are new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.